Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and once again, it's cast time. And then, um, let me intro this music real quick. So, this is gonna be, it's gonna be Frere, F-R-E-R, -E their Tales from the Old Continent album. Uh, this came out last year, and, and in case I didn't say a few moments ago, it's, um, uh, Epic Dungeon Synth, is what it's classified as. So, and, uh, this wasn't my first choice. Um, a whole bunch of albums uh, popped up on YouTube. Um, I went through all of them, and um, at least 90% of them are unusable. Uh, most because either A, they're, um, they're black metal, so too loud and distracting for, for a cast video, um, or they have vocals on them. I prefer instrumental music, so I can't play those in cast videos. They're too distracting. Or they're copyrighted. Meaning I can't use them at all. So, and out of all them, I think this was the only album that I could use. So, um, if I don't remember to, I probably should have thrown on something, uh, something I had saved on my computer, like on my Windows Media Player. But that would mean I'd have to do, I'd have to do another copyright check because I've had some of these albums for a while, and things might have changed since then. So, so this one it is. Let me go ahead and get that fired up. Oh, and I need to pause for a second. And not to be a dick or anything, but I've got a, I've got to have the headphones off so I'm not listening to this. Reason being is um, I've got a major, I've got a major headphone wire issue. Like I have to have the wire in just the right spot. Otherwise, I only hear the music on one on my left ear and not my right one. So I have to like jiggle the wire to hear the music in both ears. So I kind of need to concentrate when doing this cast video so I'm, and I can't, I can't really be distracted by me constantly yanking the wire to, to get the music in both ears. So, so just gonna go ahead and uh, have them off. Otherwise, let's get it started. Um, well, well, today, um, I think I laid down around 4.30 a.m. Um, I think about 15, 20 minutes later, I all of a sudden knew it was a bright, sunny day and looked at the clock, and it was like it was like 11 a.m., so I slept about six and a half hours and um, got up. I'm like, hey, it's kind of warm in here. Um, so I rolled on out of bed, went in the living room, Hey, it's kind of warm in here. Looked at uh, looked at the thermostat and then, hey, it's 71 degrees in here and not the 65 that it has been for the past week. So I'm like, yeah, looks like they turn. So yeah, it looks like um, and yeah, like about a half hour later, a half hour later, uh, there was a note being slid under my door saying, you know, saying like, hey, they turned the heat on. Hey, the heat is now turned on. Make sure you have the patio window closed and all that. So. So, so yeah, I um, slept a lot, slept a lot better. Um, but kind of, but one thing that did happen, um, I turn on, I turn my computer on. It, sorry if this sounds like a first world problem, but uh, for someone like me, this is actually a serious issue. Um, turn my computer on, turn the speaker on. Uh, I'm listening to the quote-unquote morning music I'm like what the hell I'm like sitting here um I'm sitting here, you know I'm okay maybe it's a problem with my Windows media player or something and they got fired up in my browser and turned on YouTube try playing music on YouTube <laughs> Like, what the fuck's going on? You know, so I just um, went ahead and restarted my computer thinking that would cure it. All right, let's put on Windows Media Player again. What the hell? Okay, so I just, okay, I'll, I'll turn off my turned off my external speaker, turn it back on. <sighs> Normal. All right, no interruptions. So it scared the living hell out of me, though. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was my computer. Like it's it really really is on its last legs. 
So, but anyway, kind of, kind of getting back on subject here. Um, but yeah, for my, for my stream, uh, played some more Planescape Torment. So, did that. Um, but um, but towards the end of the stream, I, I'm, I'm really at a crossroads right now. On one end, I'm, I'm actually getting, I'm, and um. Okay, there's a certain way I gotta say this. Um, I, for what it's worth, uh, when I last played this game about three years ago, I wasn't doing these cast videos. So I, I didn't really have a platform to really hash, to really hash out my opinions and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to, I'm, there, there's a certain saying. I had it, but then I lost it. Something along the lines of, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. You know. So, but anyway, kind of getting, getting back on subject. Um, but yeah, even the, the constant reading. Here, let me, let me try again. Okay, I'll, I'll just basically um, rehash what I said during my stream. I met a... This game is in a really strange place. On one end, yeah, the game... The game, the game's fucking great, man. It's, again, one of the best RPGs I've ever played. But at the same time, it's pretty much unstreamable. For a lot of the reasons why... Um, not, not very many people stick around to check it out. It's just a lot of reading. So, you know, but at the, at the, at the same time, too, I don't, I don't want to just, you know, play this off stream. You know, it doesn't seem right. And yeah, I could probably, uh, in fact, I think I used to do this a few years ago on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. It was a freaking nightmare. I mean, because, I mean, screenshot after screenshot after screenshot, just my blog posts were just loaded with them. You know, all the, uh, all the dialogue and stuff, all the cool, intriguing dialogue that the game has. I mean, it was a screenshot nightmare on those blog posts. I mean, you know, flashes of insight over and over. You know, and I gotta, so, but kind of going back to what I said a few moments ago, it, this is, this game and me streaming it, it, we're in a really, really, really uh, strange place, kind of like a crossroads. I mean, I don't, it, you know, and I actually did this yesterday. It's kind of a, kind of a way to help me out. And I gotta, I gotta turn this. You know, and I, I thought it would kind of help me out a little bit. I, I watched part of a speed run. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a it was a speed run of Planescape Torment. I tried watching part of that. It, I could only get like part way in, and it felt like a damn spoiler. I mean, I I I played through. Um, I mean, I'd already played through. I think I think like two thirds of the entire game a few years ago, so I already know how a good bunch of it, a good chunk of it transpires, but. But what, you know, it just, once again, it just, I'm in a rock and a hard place on this game. I mean, I don't, I don't want to skip anything. And, and that, and to say nothing of the fact that, uh, I'm already using, uh, I think I'm using cheats a lot more often than I should be. I mean, the teleport, the teleport cheats, I've said this in other casts, um, I'm going to be doing those a lot because it saves time. And plus there, this game does tend to have its pathfinding issues. Like, uh, if you try to go from point A to point B, and if, you're, if there's, like, any kind of obstacle in your way, and if it's too big of an obstacle, I mean, your character will just auto-run right into the wall trying to get to that point B, but it can't because of this little, this little obstruction in your way. Like I said, the game has a, has a few of these here and there, so, so I, I pretty much have to use, uh, use a teleport cheat, not to mention, uh, You know, and there's times where, 
I'll accidentally run into a huge battle. And there's like a whole, whole bunch of uh, enemies all of a sudden surrounding me. Now, uh, now, yeah, the, the quote-unquote honorable thing to do would be to stand there and try, you know, try to go down fighting, try to die fighting. But the problem is, is uh, um, I don't, th I don't, I don't think you have to reload a save, but I want to say you'll get, you'll get sent all the way back to your starting area, like where you first started the game, like in the mortuary. I'm guessing you'll probably get sent all the way back there, which means I gotta play catch up like big time to get back to where I was. So again, I would just as soon as pause the game, find a safe spot, use my teleport cheat to teleport to that spot and just keep going to save time. So, but anyway, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, on one end, having to, you know, having to read all the dialogue is just some, some serious drudgery. But at the same time, I don't want to miss anything. You know, it, it, it's, I mean, I like this game too much to skip anything, but at the same time, it's just, it's becoming unbearable. So, that's why I, I, I totally understand why, uh, why viewers don't stay on my channel very long because I'm sure they're they're feeling it too you know and I guess something else that could kind of be said about this game too I can't think of another game that has this I mean idle games are like this play them for a while but then when it becomes drudgery I just simply quit it's simple cut and dry and either you, you want to play it or you don't you know, I think a lot of other RPGs are like that too. You know, it's a simple cut and dry thing. If you don't want to play anymore, you just don't. This game here, it's it's basically an, an anomaly. I'm getting to where I don't really want to play it anymore, but at the same time, I do. Um, but I guess now that I think about it, uh, tomorrow, since um, uh, I'll probably. Yeah, I think I talked about this yesterday, but tomorrow on Friday is my work week. So, because I'm already going to have to shut down anyway, because, it, again, it's work, you know, tomorrow on Friday, I work nights. Okay, I might. So, yeah, I I shouldn't be all, I should be able to play, I should be able to play this game tomorrow on Friday without issue, because those streams there, they're only going to last, at the most, three hours. But usually they're only gonna last like maybe an hour and a half, two hours. So all right, so on those days there, I'm already gonna have to cut the time short. So yeah, in that context there, so playing Planescape Torment would be perfect. So yeah, it's starting to come together now. Maybe maybe play uh, this game here on a work night, since I'm not gonna be streaming for very long anyway. Glad I resolved that. Kind of. But yeah, for tomorrow though, um, look for me to play uh, Planescape Torment again. And possibly on Friday as well. So. I think there was something else I was wanting to say about it too. I can't remember what. Oh well. Like I usually do. Um, got some pinball going, but uh, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I was total shit. It just did my uh, weekly match, you know, worked on the weekly matchups. I I couldn't shoot for shit. Um, and on top of this, there was a very little input lag. So most of the most of these errors are on me. I am account I am I am accountable for all these so just bad shooting bad decision making 
And on top of this, I was actually sitting pretty, I was actually sitting pretty in the rankings. But because I think I, I think I went 0-5. I, I dropped down pretty heavily in the ranks. So now I'm really going to have to struggle the rest of the week to stay, to stay afloat. So. I think uh, at the time I got a little too gung ho. Maybe after after losing on my first table, I should have just called it off. But I mean, I did I did pretty damn good yesterday. Surely I'd surely I'd be able to do good today. Nope, don't work that way. And then um, but pinball arcade. Um, one of the, it was actually on one of the rare times where I actually did better on Pinball Arcade than I did on FX3, but still, I think, um, I was probably about average. I mean, I, I've definitely done worse, but I've done a whole lot better, though, so I guess maybe a, a below average performance. So, but uh, I'm... I think I did, I performed adequately enough on Pinball Arcade to just go ahead and upload the, uh, I, to go ahead and record, I recorded a video, and like I said, I think I was competent enough to go ahead and just upload it to YouTube, so, usually, um, I mean, typically, typically, if, if I, um, if I do abysmally bad, if I do, like, really terrible, I won't upload it, because then it just, it's gonna be an eyesore for anybody who watches that. I wanna, in order for me to upload them to YouTube, I need to perform at least decently. I need to at least be fundamentally sound in order for me to upload them. But, um, oh, and uh, I also forgot to mention too, I didn't do any FX3 tournaments this time. All the, Either A, there there weren't very many tables that I was wanting to do, um, and then the few that the few that were available, the scores on them were so obscenely high that there was going to be like no way, no how I'd ever beat them. So and considering how bad I was playing on FX3, I wasn't even going to try. So yeah, I didn't, no. Just gotta hope that um, uh, just gotta hope that next time it'll go better. But um, since uh, tomorrow and Friday are my work nights, I probably won't be playing any more pinball on those days. And then something else that happened uh, this morning, like probably about an hour or so after I did yesterday's cast, um. There was a new uh, Amoeba Records video that popped up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a drink real quick. But yeah, anyway, there was a new, uh, a new Amoeba Records video, uh, a band called Horse Girl. Um, right when I saw them, I'm thinking, oh shit. They're, yeah, they're probably going to be, they're probably going to be grabbing albums that I probably hear every night at work. Every night at Walmart Radio, so you know, so here, here come the stinkers. So, but no, um, big massive surprise. Like there, are a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that they were picking are like old albums from like the 70s and 80s and stuff like that. I think probably the most recent album that any of them picked was like uh, one from the year 2020. I don't remember the name. But yeah, it's just most everything, most everything else that they were picking on was like old stuff. So oh yeah, big surprise there. So, oh, and then on top of that too, a good chunk of the old stuff that they were picking, I never even heard of before. Um, Kleenex Lulliput was one. Um, oh shit, there was another one. The Sparks. The, um, 
another band back in the 70s. I never even heard of them. And I grew up in the 70s. So, I've, I've listened to a fair amount of music back then. But even then, I've never heard of the, I've never heard of these bands. So, yeah, any any band that, that can that can surprise and impress me this way, I definitely got to check them out. So, um, I tried, um, I think it's their, the record label is Matador. Um, I went on there, I, I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to buy like a, a CD or, or a vinyl record or something. Uh, but, um, and then for, again, out of, uh, out of, re out of respect, out of, out of respect for these girls, I didn't want to just listen to their music, on, listen to their album on YouTube. But I, I did, I did sub to the channel, by the way. Horse Girl has her own channel, so I subbed to it. Um, but it just wouldn't feel right. Uh, just listen to their whole album on YouTube. Um, and then, um, and I don't, and I don't want to go on, like, Spotify or Amazon Prime and, and listen to their music for free on there. It just wouldn't feel right. For some, for something like this, I'd, I'd want something physical. You know, again, like a CD or a record. It's what they're, it's what they're selling. So, but, but one big prop, one big problem I have though, um, basically my apartment complex. They kind of said in, in, they essentially said that um, deliveries are no longer allowed at our, at our apartment complex because for the longest time, uh, whenever like Amazon shows up, the, uh, the manager will take the packages and walk them. Either A, the uh, landlady will take those packages, walk them up to our apartment and drop them off, or just have the Amazon person do it. But apparently they put the kibosh on that recently. So, so now in order for, in order for them to bring packages to my, my, my apartment, I have to play phone tag with them, something I'm not a fan of, or B, um, and I, I still want to do this, but not that many, uh, not that many places want to, like, just, just have them, you know, take my order to this, uh, this UPS little, little drop-off store that they have, you know, you can buy, like, you can also buy, like, tape and boxes and packaging equipment and stuff like that, but, uh, and, the and, and uh, they'll drop off like UPS packages and it's right by where I live. I, it's like a quarter mile. I could walk there. But, but again, it just, but not every, uh, not every place does that. You have to play by their rules. Like if they want to deliver their stuff through FedEx, that's what you're stuck with. And FedEx doesn't have a, they don't have a drop location. Um, Amazon. Amazon has Amazon lockers, and I did, I did, um, I did try starting an account with them. I don't know what the exact word is, what the exact technical term for it is, but yeah, they got uh, Amazon lockers in these uh, grocery stores that are right by where I live. But the problem is, is when I went on the uh, Amazon website to try to try to get try to get something going, apparently to um, to the Amazon website these locations don't exist, but yet. Blockers are sitting there, plain as day, right by the registers. One place, yeah, one place has them right by the registers. Another place has them right by the exit door. But yet, uh, the Amazon websites tell me they don't exist. So, <coughs> so, but, but again, kind of a, because I kind of straight off the path here. Basically, um, Prince's. Uh, Prince's second album was another album that totally surprised me. That kind of related yet unrelated. Um, I thought he had a backup singer in there. Like, damn, she's got a hot voice. Come to find out later that the uh, backup singer is Prince. I didn't even know that. Like, he did everything on that album, including including all the different voices. So yeah, again, any any artist that can surprise me like that gets my vote. So yeah, I yeah, so I definitely uh, ordered that record. Yeah, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna download that album on Spotify or anything, but I'm getting the record. So 
Again, horse girl, kind of the same thing. Um, but it does kind of need to be said too. Is uh, they had a, I think it's like a documentary or like a live show. I watched a little bit of it. Like, do you want horse girl or do you want the truth or something like that? Just uh, just watch a little bit of it, get a little bit of a taste. Um, I don't think they had it on their uh. It, it wasn't on their Matador website, so I had to watch. I had to watch part of it on YouTube. But um, I did check out uh, I checked out some of the other albums. Um, Kleenex Lollipot, uh, Strong Marble, Strong Marble something, uh, Colossal Youth. I still want to. I think it's a John Coltrane's wife, legendary jazz musician. It's his wife or her sister or something. I can't remember her first name. I might uh I might listen to a little bit of her work as well. else I was wanting to say I can't remember what oh god what was it oh well I'll I'll just go ahead and skip it and then um part here might look a little funny um this is gonna be a last minute add-on i forgot to i forgot to add this in when i was putting this cast together yeah that didn't end well so i'll just uh i'll just do it here so like i said yesterday um uh, tomorrow on Friday, uh, my work week, and then one thing I do need to mention too, um, is um, I talked to I talked to the the personnel manager at my store. Um, I'm getting my old schedule back. It's it's gonna be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. I've I've been saying this in other cast videos too, but like I said, I contacted her today um apparently what had happened is uh for a while they were cutting hours but when they were no longer cutting hours they were um returning everybody to their normal schedules um apparently i got overlooked so that's why i've had uh i've had 10 to 7 for so long so again called her up um that's uh, she told me what i just told you that apparently I got missed so she put it I think she put it in the system I might I'll probably have to double check but I think it up uh, a couple weeks from now two or three weeks I should be back on my old schedule so Uh, but otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Um, I think I said all the things that I wanted to say. So, yeah, this... So, this cast didn't go, didn't go off completely the way I wanted it to. Just mistakes were made here and there. So... Just... Hope, well, uh, hope my, uh... Well, my next uh my next cast video will be uh or my next uh video I won't goof up so much. So 
But anyway, um, well, like I said, um, that's going to do it for me. Um, so once again, tonight and th or tomorrow and Friday uh, are my work nights. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but thanks for tuning in and, or thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, once again, I'll see you all on Sunday morning. So, take care.